What's up, Home Slice? Lucas here. So, it's 3 o'clock. Every truck that passes by, I'm, I'm like, so I'm like, confined to my house because I know I'm going to have to sign for this and I don't want to miss it because if I miss it, gosh, another car. Because if I miss it, then, you know, I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow and we, we can't have that. Today's society is just so needy and now, everything has to be now. Can you relate or am I just such a diva? I'm probably just a diva, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, let's let's do this workout. <laughs> Threw my shirt on real quick. It's on the right way. Yo, it's lighter than I thought. Okay. Uh, is it in here? <laughs> uh, well, it is the body only. All right. Enough wasting around. We're open this. There's the receipt. This is what I see. Okay, nothing else in there. No money. This better be the right one. Yeah, okay. This is the moment I've been waiting for, man. I've been waiting for this. Ah. <laughs> Warranty. Instructions. Okay, battery pack right here. Charger. Let's get this thing charging. Okay, moment of truth, moment of truth. Is it in there? They better. It's like they forgot it. Here it is. Here it is. Just like that, Canon, Canon strap, classic Canon strap. Yo, oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh. oh, there she blows, man. Oh man, flippy screen, flippy. <laughs> oh look at it. it's got like a full frame guard on it, or like a lens thing. Dude, I've been waiting so long for this dang thing. SD card and also that, uh, what, CF Express card or whatever. I didn't buy the C, uh, the Express card. That thing's like 600 bucks, man. But I have an SD card. 128 gigs. <laughs> What's up? There's probably some charge in the battery, but I'm literally gonna just throw it in there. Get this thing charging. Plug it in the wall. Alright, so it's blinking. I think that means it's charging. Hopefully that's right, because I don't want to waste any time. I'm like type of guy to just throw the battery in with like 30% charge and just like get it going. You know what I mean? Because like I have no patience. But honestly, with this, for some reason, I'm like, I'm like, yo, let's be responsible. Let's plug in the battery and fully charge it first. To be honest, like right off the bat, the build of this feels way like more plasticky than my GH5 right now. Like my GH5, it's is kind of a tank. I'm not gonna lie, but. Then again, you know what? Maybe I'd trade that over for lightness. And it feels just like my Canon T6i, like the, the same plastics used. And you know, polymer is so advanced nowadays. So, you know what? Maybe it's good that it's lighter because then it won't fatigue my arm when I'm vlogging. <laughs> Anyways, um, what am I saying? Maybe I shouldn't use the word plastic. I should probably use the word polymer. Who's texting me? I don't care. Thing said I signed for it. That's what, won't shut up. Okay. All right, so how long is this gonna take? I don't know. Let's continue the workout, man. Continue the workout, yep. My legs are already feeling like jello, but I didn't run my uh, two miles yet, because on today, the goal is to run two miles well, the goal is to run over two miles in 15 minutes. So you want to run 15 minutes, but you want to get over two miles. So it's not too hard, but I'm going to shoot for uh, like two and a half miles would be insane. You know, that'd be six minute per mile pace, but 
I'm just gonna shoot for over it, you know, honestly. I'm gonna shoot for like two and maybe a quarter, I guess. That would still be pretty fast. Now, another thing is uh, the camera. I read in the instructions. It says it's gonna take, it, basically that battery apparently must have been fully uncharged because it's blinking once per second and it said it would take about two and a half hours for it to fully charge. So darn it, it's gonna be like six o'clock before I have this thing running. I'd like to get that on the ground this fall. Gainers swing their court. All right, good morning. Oh man, it's the next day. Man, have I just become an adult? Like really? I'm like so patient. How have I waited overnight? The battery is done charging. Enough scooting around the corners. Let's let's see if this thing works. All right. Let's. Oh man. Hopefully it works. The battery is not going in exactly straight. It's like kind of an angle. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of like an angle. It's not like totally straight. Ah. As long as it works. The right speed on this is 170 megabytes per second. Hopefully that's fast enough, man. Hopefully I don't have to spend another like 600 bucks on that C Express card or whatever. First lens we're gonna throw on this thing is the daily driver. All right, how about that? 24 through 70, 2.8. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be vlogging with from that, like. What's up, guys? Oh my gosh. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. <clears throat> oh. Wow. Wow, it looks nice. Yep, it looks nice. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so, um, yo, the autofocus is gonna be so much better. Oh, look at that, record. What's up, guys? Lucas here, so it should look exactly the same as the GH5 right now because it's a 24. What? Okay, so. GH5 versus this. All right, wow. I don't know. So this is the Canon right now. We're rolling with the Canon. Hopefully it looks pretty clear. Doesn't feel that heavy. Honestly, maybe it's about the same. No, it's a little more front heavy because of just like the, uh, um, the lens. But yeah, wow. I feel pretty clear. I feel like it's locking onto my eyes and it's not losing focus and it's changing the ISO and uh, shutter pretty pretty darn good. I have everything pretty much on auto when it comes to that. But um, let's see, it's locking onto my eyes really good. This auto focuses, finally we have something that actually focuses. Oh look at, and then it zooms. Wow, that's nice. Holy moly. Yo. Man, that auto focus is on point. It's like the biggest, uh, yeah, wow. All right, back on the GH5. Look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so big. It's time for me to soil this camera by putting on one of these mounts for the camera stand. Yo, I'm afraid this is gonna tip my camera stand over. Honestly, the GH5 has been one tough cookie. I've tipped that thing over, it's landed straight on itself. It's totally fine. You know, it's peeling a little bit on the side, but all right, we'll just loosely fit that for a second here. Oh man, you okay? That is making me so nervous right now. Look at that. No lights, nothing. It's recording me, my stand's a little crooked, my heart's beating really fast. I cannot have that thing falling over. Famous Dorsey. Oh yeah. Oh man, it's it's so good at focusing, dude. Ugh. That's something I'm not used to. <laughs> oh, look at that. 
You might have heard the camera or the lens focusing when I was doing that, but th then again, you guys, you know, I use that lab mic, so you won't hear that later. Also, I'm only using the onboard camera mic right now. I haven't even hooked up the, uh, I haven't hooked up the, the Rode Video Micro. All right, so we're here at the park. Got the Rode Video Micro on there right now. Man, this thing is not discreet. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I just pretty much have it on like full auto mode right now, so, full auto, no, like full auto mode. Um, we'll see how it handles, handles this. All right. We get zoom. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> uh, didn't have that before. Doing like an auto picture profile here. It actually looks a lot more clear. Like, yeah, wow. Hopefully this thing is uh, holding up to the test. Um, I have HQ mode on right now. I have no idea what that actually means. <laughs> or what, I mean, I know it's high quality, but I don't know what that does. So, wow, man, it's staying so focused though, like on my face and not the, not the background. I have it in manual mode too, so if it's overexposed a little bit, that's my problem. But it seems to be doing a pretty good job. I wonder how the dynamic range stacks up against uh, the GH5. The only thing though is I just have it in like a standard mode. Well, it's on auto right now for picture profile. I don't really have a log going on. Oh, I should turn that on and see what that looks like. Okay, Canon log is on right now. It probably looks like drier. I wonder what it would look like if I graded it. Usually I film kind of in a in like a D log or, or Cinema D or whatever in the GH5, Cine D or whatever. And then usually I'll do that. Sometimes I put it in standard. So looking good, man. I'm liking aperture priority the best. Uh, don't is it like I can I can finally be like one of those YouTubers where um, hold, on, hold on hold on I got this on. You make a point and then it's like, but without doing it in the computer. So it's like, and then she said, wait. And then she said, oh yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. But you gotta focus. Yeah, all right. All right, what's up guys? It's the next day, so real quick, I wanna make this clear. Skit Sunday has returned. It has returned. We have filmed new skits using this camera. Check this out. Editing in the process here right all morning. 25, tw tw 25 minutes long. 25 minutes long on this next one, okay? We have Kevin, we have Billy, and we have Kevin's new neighbor. Stay tuned. If you guys are into those skits, if you guys are into the episodes, new one coming this Sunday, 10 a.m. EST USA, okay? And then so on. So subscribe. Subscribe to the skits playlist if you want to keep seeing, you know, skits. Turn those notes on. Those notes. <laughs> those. Anyways, I know I haven't put this camera to the absolute test yet, but just came in right now. Well, actually just came in a couple days ago. A CF Express card. So we'll be able to run 4K at 420. Uh, 4K at 120. And, com you know, I think that's going to be the determining factor here. So, this camera, this new camera, first thoughts right out of the box, honestly, ah oh man, the GH5 right here, honestly for the price, the GH5 might still be the best camera. Then again, you know, I knew the price was going to be higher, but honestly guys, this sucker's a powerhouse, and man, it is solid too, the build, you just can't mess with that, the knobs, the ease of use once you understand it, this, so far... I gotta say I do like it. I gotta say I ha I do like it, but it's not like blowing me out of the water like, like um, like I thought it would at the moment. Um, honestly, like in the skit, you probably won't even tell a difference in the the film of this because once again I am filming at the exact same uh, compression basically. So I'm doing like a 4K, 3000 whatever by whatever. So it's not that true 4K or whatever, but it just works better on YouTube. And then I. I compress it, okay, so I'm not doing like an all, I know this camera can record in RAW, um, 
but honestly, you know, just the ease of edit of the compression is just so much easier and honest. And for YouTube, like, I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference. So just to save myself a ton of time in the edits, I know I can make proxies and all that, but gosh, you know, maybe I should stop making excuses. I just, I like to film the compression. It's just easier to work with, but, um, when I do like grade it and stuff, it just, you know, I can't even tell the difference right now. With that being said, again, these lenses are pretty dang kicking butt and this camera does have capabilities that go far beyond um this like 8k 4k 120 frames a second other than that i'm not going to be able to give you my like full opinion on like what i think about this especially compared to this because honestly the only filming i've been doing with this is exactly what i could already do with this um the only thing different is it's on this camera with these lenses this lens zooms, which I, that's pretty sweet, and maintains like such a high quality. The image is in focus when it zooms, which is, ah, that's amazing. And also, uh, yeah, that Canon color science. There's just something about that Canon color science, in my opinion at least, that's just, I don't know what it is, like on a microscopic level or something. It just looks so much better than any other brand honestly i looked and i couldn't tell what's going on like i looked at panasonic's examples you know in their full frame one even i looked at sony's examples you know in their new sony cameras there's just something different about this canon color science or something it's like it looks more like film almost i don't know other than that skit sunday i've been editing all morning since 6 a.m it's 147 right now we have been putting the tunes in this they're, they're back, baby. They are back. I mean, you guys may have seen the last two Sundays. Skits were on Sunday. So if you didn't know already, they are skits are back. They're back, and they're being filmed. Film this skit with this camera, actually only half of it, and then the battery ran out. Yeah, that's another thing. The battery ran out, and I was like, oh, man, I'm not going to stop. So I filmed the second half with this, and you probably won't even be able to tell where it cuts off. Well, actually, yeah, probably when it starts getting out of focus and stuff, because that's another great thing about this new camera I have is the focus, the autofocus is just absolutely amazing so far. But then once again, I can't give you guys like a full comparison on everything because I haven't been able to put this camera, you know, to some other good features that I want to try, like 4K 120, um, which hopefully is going to be amazing. Other than that though, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm super excited to have this new camera. Don't get me wrong, like the, the many improvements that I'm seeing are just worth it to me at least, maybe. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for your support, positive feedback. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you guys all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video. See, there's just something about that color science. You know, like, you know, like the shadows right in there. You know what I mean? It's just, like, look at that. It's just something about that. What is it?